The Romanov Tercentenary was a countrywide celebration, marked in the Russian Empire from February 1913, in celebration of the ruling house of Romanov. After the opening of the events in St. Petersburg, the imperial family embarked on a symbolic tour on the Volga River in May, following the route of the first Romanov Tsar, Michael I, from Kostroma to Moscow, to assume the throne in 1613. The royal family traveled on a steamer, with several vessels in convoy, including steamer Tsar Michael Fyodorovich, where the travelers had dinner every evening. Innumerable ships were filled with people, and as they approached the ship which carried the sovereigns, they vied to see the persons of the royal family, from as close as possible. Many went into the river and swam near the ship of the emperor, so that they might cast even a brief glance on them, as they passed by. Every single minute of the visit was scheduled. Meetings with the local delegates. Numerous military reviews. Service at the Apotiev Monastery was the key event of the day. The Romanovs bout before the Fyodorovskaya icon of the Mother of God. It is known as the patron icon of the Romanov family. Thousands of people greeted the royal family, chanting hurrah as the cortege was going through the town. Nicholas II unveiled the Romanov Museum himself. He also laid the bricks in the foundation for the monument to mark the 300 years of the Romanov dynasty. The Romanov family left Kostroma amid absolute silence. One of the servants asked people not to make any noise because Tsarevich Alexei fell asleep. The royal family continued their voyage down the Volga River. Crowds greeted the Tsar and his family all the way to Yaroslav. The first Romanov, Michael Fyodorovich, spent 26 days here some 300 years ago. The family arrived in town at 9 a.m. sharp on May 21st. 
they visited several monasteries, churches, and an exhibition. The royal family left Yaroslav the same day in the evening. Their tour on the Volga River ended here, as they swapped their steamer for a train to get to Moscow. Moscow was the last point of the countrywide celebrations. The royal family arrived in the historic capital after a service at the Trinity Lavra of St. Sergius. All streets were decorated with flowers and flags. The whole city greeted the royal family. The Tsar mounted a horse and rode alone, 60 feet ahead of the rest of the party and his Cossack guard escort, towards the Kremlin in front of large cheering crowds. The decorations along the street, with velvet banners donning Romanov symbols spanning the boulevard, buildings covered in pennants, flags, and lights even more inventive than those in the capital, garlanded statues of the Tsar and showering of confetti from the people, were even more magnificent than in St. Petersburg. The Tsar dismounted in the Red Square, the convergence point of the religious processions throughout the city who flocked to him, where he walked by rows of priests chanting and entered the Uspensky Cathedral. The young Tsarevich was also supposed to walk the last hundred yards, but he collapsed due to haemophilia, and had to be carried by a Cossack guard to the exclamations of sorrow from the crowds.
Tsar Nicholas II visited the birthplace of the royal dynasty founder, the chambers of the Romanov boyars near the Kremlin, and the graves of his ancestors in the Novospassky Monastery. Finally, after meeting dozens of deputations and holding numerous ceremonies, the royal family left Moscow to return home to Sarskoy Selo.